Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Japanese Sword. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a temporary scabbard out of a newspaper and tape. And we'll get into it right after this. So, hello. Um, in the past, I've received swords that um, uh, didn't have a scabbard. And I know that there's lots of people out there with swords with no scabbard. And they don't quite know what to do. And when they send them anywhere, they, they might uh, screw them to a plank through the uh, Makugiana. Um, but it's still not really a great method, you know, because they can slide on the plank. And um, I, I've nearly cut myself in the past trying to um, unpackage them and things, you know. Uh, so it's not really a, a good method. So what I'm going to suggest is, is this, this method uh, of making a, a temporary uh, scabbard with a newspaper and a roll of packing tape you know but the, the fairly robust type but um so newspaper i don't know why but newspaper is pretty good at inhibiting rust so you know this is another reason to use newspaper they use it for the uh, kitchen knives as well sometimes the japanese kitchen knives and that and uh, because it's yeah pretty good at stopping rust so all right so first of all we need to do some preparation uh, I'm recording it on a smaller camera as well, up close up, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's get a couple of pages. We need to do some some uh, preparation first. So the first, now you want a broadsheet newspaper. You want the big one. You know, you want as much paper as you can get. So first of all, let's get these out of the way, and we're going to get the broadsheet. I'm going to fold fold it in half because there's there's different parts to the scabbard. And you have to make all of them. So we're going to fold it in half. And try always try and get these as square as you can. Because it's going to help you uh, later on. If it's a bit twisted and things. It might get a bit difficult. Alright. So fold it in half. And fold it in half again. Now, depending on your this this particular uh, process, depending on your sword, you might need a couple of these on the length of your sword. All right, then fold it in half again. Actually, I should have, probably should have done a, a blue Peter special, and oh, here's one we prepared earlier. But let's. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll just speed up the process in the edit. So I'm just going to keep going. Just I'm going to keep folding it in half, folding it in half. Okay, and I need to do some other preparation as well. So let's uh, all right, let's, let's take this another level first. And then fold it in half again. Like I said, you've got to try and... Uh, actually, it's probably better to fold... Keep the uh, leaves of the pages on the insides of the folds. Makes a much tidier piece of folding. All right, so before we do the next fold. I'm going to prepare some tape. So you want small, about this size, about about two inches, I suppose, two inches, five centimeters pieces of tape. And you want a, you want a few of these. Actually, you, you want a lot of these. So all right, I'm going to speed up the tape now and uh, ha ha, because I don't want to get all fluff in them. So anyway, here we go. Right, so 
that's not enough tape but we're going to start anyway so fold your, your piece of paper in half again for the final time like this get a decent amount enough fold to start it off and then get your first bit of tape and tape it right around this this folded piece of paper to make it and pull it tight so it's nice and compact pull it tight and keep wrapping it like that like this so that you end up with a very solid solid kind of bar there now we're going to do this all the way up the uh, all the way up the, this it's going to turn into a kind of into a kind of stick so we're going to do it all the way up up the stick so then you get the next one and you line it up put the tape on there make sure it's nice and lined up it can, you know it can overlap a little bit it's okay but what's important is that you need to kind of pull it pull it tight around the, the bar to keep it all nice in and close and compact like this all right so we're going like that and we're going to go all the way along this sheet of paper we're going to go all the way along this sheet of paper with until the very end there all right so back to the fast forward Right, so there you go so you end up with a stiff bar like that um, actually we need a bit more so I'm gonna do another one and I'll, I'll jump straight to that so you can go watch it again but it needs to be stiff if, if you can keep it from not twisting mine's you know I'm done mine in front of the camera so it's not going particularly well but um you know but that's good enough I mean you know it's a disposable sayer uh, you can reuse them um, um, and you'll see you'll see me on another TV program where um, I actually spend about three years once a week going to the Fujishiro polishing studio just to watch and and they they taught me about Kante as well putting swords in my hand and making me guess the swords and things like this and this is where I learned this technique of making paper scabbards so uh, this I was taught this by um, by the fourth generation Fujishiro polisher uh, Fujishiro Tatsuya-san so this is where it comes from all right so uh, we're going to jump forward now to the next stage uh, where we have two of these yep okay so there we go now we have two now um, you're not going to need all of the second one but um, I would save it because if you if you're making more than one of these you'll need it again later on uh, you know and these you know this is probably the, the uh, most fiddly part of making the, the, the sayer so let's just put those out of the way for the time being right ne next you're going to want and um, depending on the length of the sword but a sword about this length you're probably going to want about um, four or five sheets probably five sheets so we'll take a sheet at a time Take one sheet and again we fold it in half also we're going to do two layers so we go over the length of the whole sword twice all right so you fold the sheet in half yeah and then again Then 
one more time all right so it is it ends up about two and a half inches in width and again try, keep it square as square as you can because you know if not it's going to cause you problems when you come to the next next stage all right so some of these uh we want to uh fold the corner in let's do it on this side we want to fold the corner in at 45 degrees so that it ends up like, like this all right but not all of them only only uh the ones that we use at the base of the sword all right so it ends up like this all right and this bit is going to go on the inside of the sword you'll see why in a second so we're going to make uh four or five more of these and then we'll uh we'll start actually putting the scabbard on the sword all right so that's one Okay, so there we go. Um, we only had one sheet left, so we've made six, just in case, because it's, it's a long sword anyway. But only two of these pieces need to be folded, need to be folded at 45 degrees at the end. Right, you'll, you'll see why a bit later on, right, you know. And uh, so when you're doing this, uh, you need to be very careful because the, the swords are very sharp, you know, because we're, we're handling the blade directly as well. Uh, well, actually not directly you can hold the newspaper you know just just hold the newspaper and not the blade itself and um, prepare your for the next stage or for the stage after next you want to prepare your tape in advance because if you get to that stage and you haven't prepared tape uh, you, you might find yourself in a bit of an awkward situation so prepare some tape not as much as before but just so you have it just so that you have it ready okay right so this is where we move on to the actual um, wrapping stage so that camera looks a bit dark so get the sword and you get one of the pieces of paper uh, as I said it's, it's full, folded at uh, 45 degrees now what you want to do is line up that that 45 degree line actually let me do this again right it's folded one way but I want to fold it the other way because um, I'm right-handed right so So you, you'll figure that out when you when it comes to doing it because you want this folded side on the inside so anyway so get the sword and then uh it's hard to show on the camera but you want to line the paper up to the end of the harbaki if it has one if not pass the harmachi so the harmachi doesn't stick out line it up with that and you you, you know just put a little fold there and then if you can see that there okay so that that's straight with air but it goes at 45 degrees and then you wrap it around the blade so that the, the paper continues to go at about 45 degrees down the blade you know so you oh, so you could wrap it there so like i said you have to be careful i'm a bit tight for space here because i've got cameras around me and a bookcase behind me so but you want to make sure it's, it's fairly tight you know and that you don't that you um don't do it too narrow and when I say too narrow I mean that the the overlap between the pieces of paper that wrap around are not too much overlapped because otherwise uh, you're going to need lots of paper so you go you wrap it around like that uh, it's a bit 
far you want to try and stretch it out a little bit it doesn't matter if it creases up see see now i've moved on to the blade i can hold the blade itself you know so you wrap it around the the uh, blade there keep trying to make the paper work as much as possible you know as far down the blade as possible without leaving the exposed parts of the blade like this and eventually you're going to run out of paper so then what you do is you get another sheet of paper without a 45 degree folded end just a straight end and you just overlap it and then you continue on because as it goes around the first wrap like i said you have to be careful watch the point when you go around the point as it goes around the first wrap the paper is going to hold it in anyway you know and this is only the first layer in it so you know there's not too much to worry about like i said try and get as much uh, length out of your paper as possible yeah and, and don't get too complacent it can be dangerous like that and then when you get to the tip go right past the tip that camera now so when you get past the tip go right past the tip keep folding oh i mean this is going to work out nice but if it's too long you just have to tear off the paper but keep going wrap around because you want a bit of space between the point and the end of the scabbard you can you can feel it inside there where it is then once you get to there just fold back the end a little bit and make it kind of square square it off and then it gives extra padding to the end of the, the scabbard now from there uh, just to hold it in place let's put a bit of tape on like i said because this is when you're going to need to start needing tape like that so you just put a bit of tape on just hold it in place like so all right so there it's still kind of you know if you pull it it's all going to come off it's all going to unravel but but this is the first layer like this like that. yeah okay like that so we go right up to the end of the harbaki or past the harmachi and there we are this is a bit wide actually you know you can make it smaller a bit more smaller in the tip there be careful not to stab yourself because you know the, at this stage it's still quite thin and you know and don't try and slide it along too much because if it slides and your hand goes along the blade it's going to cause some damage so then uh we go on to one of our sticks so then we get our stick and we want to go just around just around the kisaki just do the kisaki bit there around around there first of all so you're going to need some scissors fairly robust scissors so measure it off so you, so you know exactly what you want to do so you know about about that that's good around there is good just a bit lo longer on the uh ha side than it is on the mune side so then cut it off there and put that to one side and then you take this in place so you hold it in place get another piece of tape and tape it in place there because we're still not finished yet so you know we've got a bit of work to do all right so you might want to uh, split that so you can wrap it over itself there Okay, like that. Okay, and then we want another piece of tape just to hold it in place. There. Okay, and then we're going to get our long piece. We're going to get our long piece and put it, oops, the whole way along and round. Actually, this is quite a, quite a long blade, so that you know, usually they go right around, right around and back over, so that it's just doubled at this part here. You know, so if you've got a shorter sword. Uh, that'll help but this is quite a long sword so you might have to um, actually use a longer piece right so then you get your tape and you start you want to make sure 
that this and this is why you don't want it want it to twist or anything like that you know it's fairly flexible so you can manipulate it into place but you want it right above the heart you know right above the cutting edge of the blade so you hold it in place and put the tape on in the middle there and then push it down and make sure that it, it fits exactly in place over the heart there and just do that at separate interval intervals you know so that it's you know it's got a fairly even grip on there and it's not going to move in the meantime while you're moving around with it So now you have this extra thick paper, you know, covering up all the most dangerous parts of the blade, the cutting edge and the point section, things like this. So yeah, I've, I've run out of tape, so I'm gonna need some more tape. So for me personally, I, I prefer this method than the, the screw into a piece of wood, you know. Once you see the finished product, you'll see how quite quite robust it is, you know, even though it's newspaper and tape. All right. So then there, so we, we make sure we've got the point section covered. All right, and that's all fitted in there. Okay, so we're, there we go. So that's that's the foundation part there. So that's how, how it looks before we do the final stages. So there we go there. Yeah, so that, that thick piece is right under the cutting edge there. Let's get that out of the way. So that thick piece is right over the cutting edge there. The point section is covered twice with a double thickness. And then that is right over the cutting edge, right the way down to the hard bucket. All right, then you start the second layer. So you start again, again, with the uh, 45 degree paper. But this time, on the second layer, start a bit above the Bahabaki. So you're a bit further into the knuckle goal. So because you, you don't really want anything to, to stick out and things like that, you know. And just put a bit of a fold over there just to give it a bit of a grip to start off with. And then, actually, let's move it up a bit. And, oh, yeah. And then start wrapping around. And just the same again, same as what you've done before. Actually, it might even be a bit easier on the on the second wrap, you know. And if you want to, if it's a bit. Uh, I haven't got more tape. Hang on a second. You can so, put a bit of tape there just to hold it in place at the start. You know, and then just continue wrapping around like this. And actually, the, I remember now, the second layer is, is a bit easier to do. You know, you can get more out of your paper and stuff like that. Like this. So you can see the paper twisting a bit here, so you have to kind of pull it, keep it tight, and keep it all square. You know, otherwise it, it twists. Right, so you run out of paper, out of paper but just keep wrapping just over keep the top. Wrapping over the top, and it hold itself it in hold place. Itself in place. Just at the wrong time. Let's take it back a bit. 
So we had a bit of a uh, awkward length there, so we'll take that back a bit and go from a bit, bit further back, you know. So it's good to uh, see how things don't always work out exactly. You have, you have to kind of figure it out as you go along, you know, because not all swords are the same length. And again, just go over a bit over and tear it off. Just tear off the paper. Oh, like that. Tear off the paper like that and just fold it back in a bit. And again, just a bit of tape, just hold it in place. Actually, this is not looking a bit so great. So I'm going to redo that bit, I think. Yeah, it's got a bit... Uh, the tension's gone off a bit there, so make sure, like I said, make sure the tension stays in. Keep the tension on the paper when you're wrapping it, and things like this. All right, so the end is probably the most awkward part, actually. So yeah, just just take oh, it, yeah, just just take, take it, it back a bit, take it back and a then, bit, uh, and then attach another uh, piece of paper, another piece and of paper. Then just, like I said, keep the tension in there, keep, keep in pulling there. it, keep pulling it, and keep the tension in, and then it'll it'll wrap on itself and keep itself in place. Right, and there you go. So, you know. That's it, that's good. All right. Okay, and then just fold just fold the, up, the bit at the end over. And then you want a bit of tape. Just, again, just to hold it in place. Hold it all in place so you've got a bit of tape at both ends, so it's not going anywhere. And then, we've already got the tape underneath. And then you can put tape along the whole length of it. And, like, kind of solidify it. So then you get full length pieces of tape like this like this right. it's not the best uh, paper scabbard I've made but you know it serves a purpose and actually you know they're, they're kind of recyclable if you if you work with swords a lot and things like this it's kind of a handy method you know and as, as long as you're not transferring rust from one blade to another blade, this is a pretty uh, handy method to stop yourself, or, you know, just having bare blades lying about. Because, you know, I know some people are worried and, and things, and they don't like to have bare blades around. And it also acts as a, as a rust inhibitor. So, you know, I, I like this method a lot. So cover the whole thing in tape and do it again. You know, we can tidy all this up later. Maybe just a straight piece around the end to tidy up the end. Tidy up the uh, Koi Gucci. Support it a bit, a bit of, bit of strength at the end. Like that. Check out the, uh, you know, and tidy up the, uh, the Kisaki end as well. You know, so Right, and there you go. That's there you go. That's it. Paper scabbard. So you know, you check it out, and you know it's custom made, so it slides in and out very nicely. You know, it fits in. 
uh, you know, as long as you hold the blade while you've got it in your hand, it won't fall out. Uh, you know, it's, and it's fairly, you know, got a fairly good grip on it, even with not having a tight grip on it, you know. Yeah, it's not, not falling out. But, so yeah, it's it get you out of a bind. And it's, uh, you know, if you've got swords in, in, in mid uh, construction, let's say, and things like this, it's a good, it's a good uh, method. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or, or questions, you know, put them in the comments. And please uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, click that notifications button. Give us a thumbs up. All right, great. Thanks very much. See you next time. Hello there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click on the like button and then on the subscribe button, but also click on the notifications button to make sure that you get future videos in your feed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.